everybody, it is Gabriel and welcome to another video tutorial that's talking about the technique in Swift UI framework. Today I'm going to present how to create custom view modifiers. Those change methods that usually follow Swift UI views and allow to update their styling or apply other changes. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and support that way my effort to create video tutorials. And also check the description for a link to my website serialcoder.dev where you can also subscribe to my newsletter. So let's begin with this. What is a view modifier and why do we actually need to create custom ones? Well, a view modifier is a method applied on a view instance, performs certain changes to it and then returns the view back modified. The main reason for defining custom view modifiers is to create reusable sets of system provided modifiers and avoid repeating the same code. That also makes the code eventually cleaner and more readable. Let's get into code, and you can see here that I have created a Swift UI button that contains an image and the text as a label. Notice that there are view modifiers applied both to the image and the text view, and all of them aim to change their default style. The same goes for the button as well. There is a modifier that sets a custom style to the button. Regarding that, if you want to learn more about custom button styles, you can find a useful text tutorial on my website. See the description for the link. Here is how the button currently behaves when tapped. As you can see, the scale value of the button is increased when it's on the pressed state and that results to a bigger image and text than when being in a normal state. Let's focus now on the text, where we have a series of view modifiers that change its style. Suppose that we want to define more text views like that and apply the exact same formatting. The obvious approach would be to copy and paste that set of modifiers multiple times, but it's also obvious that this does not seem to be the best solution that we can come up with. To avoid doing that, we can create a custom view modifier which will be containing all those shown here. Let's do that and let's start by cutting all modifiers we want to reuse. Now I am switching to a different file so I can keep things clean and separated and I am defining the following structure which has to be conforming to the view modifier protocol. This protocol requires to implement a body method which returns an opaque view type. In practice that means that it will return the type of the view that this modifier will be applied to. Inside the body, the content parameter value is the actual Swift UI view instance that will be styled with the original modifiers and the one that will be returned by the method. So I paste here all modifiers that I cut from the original text and I'm pretty much done. Going back to the text view, I can now use that custom modifier that I just defined instead of all those I previously had. However, how exactly am I going to do that? SwiftUI provides a specific view modifier that accepts as an argument a custom view modifier. It's called modifier and it's used like so. Say that the button is working normally again. However, Calling that way custom modifiers doesn't feel so natural. It would be great if we could just use the dot syntax to access our own modifier, just like we do for the system provided ones. Well, we can easily do that and all we need is to extend the view protocol and define a new method. Right below the custom view modifier that I created previously, I am adding the following extension and then I create a method. We can name it whatever we want but it has to be returning an opaque view type. In this method, I'm going to call the, the modifier view modifier and I'll pass as an argument a button text modifier instance. Back to the text, I'm removing what I did earlier and I'm pressing the dot key to find my custom modifier. See that since the button text method is now part of the view protocol, Xcode suggests it as any other built-in modifier. And once again, the button seems to be working properly. Let's try now to do the same for the modifiers applied to the image. I'm taking them all 
and switching back to my custom modifiers file, where I am going to create a new structure that will conform to the view modifier protocol. As before, I define the body method and I'm pasting all modifiers to the content parameter value. However, see that there is a problem here. And that problem is that the first two modifiers, rendering mode and resizable, can only be applied to an image view. We cannot change the type of the content because this is a method coming from the view modifier protocol. So, is there anything else that we can do so we reuse those view modifiers? Yes, there is. We won't create a custom view modifier here. However, we will extend the image type. In that extension, we'll implement a custom method, and there we'll be applying all modifiers to the image instance. That being said, let's remove this view modifier. Now, let's add an image extension where I'll define the following method. This method will be returning the image self instance, and on that self object, I'll append all view modifiers. Once again, back to the original image, where I'm calling the method we just defined in the image extension. And again, the button is working fine. So, now you know how to create custom view modifiers in SwiftUI and how to reuse built in modifiers that are specific to certain views. I hope you liked this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter and visit my website for more material. Leave any thoughts on the comments right below. Thanks for watching and enjoy your programming adventures.